Bam. Greet you the words of our salam alaikum, which means peace and blessings be upon you. And I mention both Jesus and Muhammad's names because they were both messengers of truth and reality. And you're looking at the Underground Railroad. We come on every Saturday night at 1030. Go run and tell a friend. <laughs> so after you get through looking at the news, get the real news on Underground Railroad. And you know I have fabulous guests. You know, and um, I'm going to let them introduce themselves. You guys been on television for 30 years. One guy has a fabulous organization, the Flaming Crescent Society, but I'm going to let them, whoever wants to go first, because I don't want y'all to think I'm doing favorites. Okay? <laughs> go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay. I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly TV show, Team Chicago Challenge. I've been doing my TV show as Team Chicago Challenge for 32 years now. Before that, I did a TV show called The Other Side, mm. because if you're in Chicagoland, Republicans are never on TV. So we're going back 30, 40 years. Since the beginning of television in Chicago, Republicans were never on TV. So that's why I started The Other Side. But then I went and did my true love, which is uh, racing motorcycles. And I'm happy to report that I've been racing motorcycles for 40 years. 49 wow, years now man. and still planning on doing some racing this year and me and him had a heated discussion but that's why he's on because i appreciate that his views some of his views are contrary to mine but i respect that he didn't equivocate and back down thank you but brother Salim. <laughs> well my name is uh i'd like to greet everybody with the greetings of peace of assalamu alaikum I'd like to introduce myself to those that may not know me. My name is Brother Salim Abdul Khalik, and I represent an organization called the Flaming Crescent Society, which is an organization dedicated to the upliftment of the black community, politically, spiritually, and economically. And you know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about the Donald Trump era and what's going on, you know, globally. We're going to touch on that. But like I said, go tell a friend, you know, to tune in. And, you know, I'm going to start off with the Republican. I don't know if you brand yourself as a Republican. What do you think about Donald Trump? Do you think Donald, I, Trump, do you think Donald Trump is all that in the bag if, of chips? If you know anything about history, okay. St. Thomas More was considered a man for all seasons. Okay. And he lived during the time of Henry VIII. And he did get executed. Hmm. Donald Trump may be the man of our time right now. Yes. Especially with this election coming up now and the total insanity on the other side. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much further insane can you go? Abortion after the baby's born? I mean, all, all Democratic candidates, that's what they stand for. Mm -hmm. So you want to talk, Donald Trump is going to be standing as the only one that to comes across as a true American. He's making America great again, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you know what? I got to hear the other side, Brother Celine. In your opinion, is Donald Trump making America great again? Is he all that and more? Well, in my uh, personal opinion, I believe that Donald Trump is bad news for peoples of color. Uh, uh, he has a, a, a known uh, track record of uh, making racist uh, statements against black people. Let's go back to the Central Park Five uh, incident in which he called for the execution of five innocent uh, young men. Mm. Uh, there's also some evidence that uh, he and his family denied uh, 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 to, to rent uh, to uh, black people. Okay. And I don't know how true it is, but I also heard some um, allegations or rumors that uh, his father may have been a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. When <laughs> I look at the- uh, he's, he's laughing at uh, that. Uh, well, well, he can laugh. He, uh, this is a free America, mm -hmm. like he said. He's entitled to laugh. Mm -hmm. I also, uh, when I look at uh, the situation of what's going on today with uh, um, him, the, what, what's happening to the uh, immigrants in, in this country, uh, I think it's a tragedy Maybe. the way uh, mm -hmm. Where a lot of these these immigrants are being done, I'm not you saying that they should. Just a little. Okay. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that they should have free reign to come to America uh, anytime they 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 please or illegally, 
but uh, some of the reports that we're getting about how some of these children have been uh, molested and separated from their, mm -hmm. their parents, uh, this is a big tragedy. So in my opinion, Donald Trump is bad news for peoples of color. You as a Republican, would you say that he is, that he is racist, and mis racist and misogynistic? No. Why? Why do you say that? You know, they, they made their money. you have any idea how the Trumps made their money? His father built homes okay. after World War II. That's where they made their millions. Mm -hmm. It wasn't that he was a slumlord forever. Did he deny black people rent? Look in Chicago. I mean, this, is, this was a common practice throughout no, the United States. No, but we're talking about States. Donald Trump, though. Well, was he supposed to, as a teenager, he was supposed to do something about that? That's the way it was in Chicago. If, so, he, if he's trying to make America great again, part of making America great again is being non-discriminatory toward all people of color. Yeah, which he is. Because he's, he's, so put, that, that, he's that, put more black people to work. He's put, uh, in his he administration, Donald Trump is putting house Negroes to work who don't have the best interest of the black community. Yes. They're only the interested interest the in serving their own needs. These working, Negroes that serve in the Trump administration living. are nothing but a bunch of Uncle Toms yeah, who are right. there for financial benefit. Right. Well, I, I have to disagree with you because of course Donald you, you, Trump- you can, you can disagree because this, mean, you is a, up this is a free America, as exactly. you said. How many, how many people should come into America? As many that want to I come in? I just said, if you listen to what I said, the right? mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Uh, Schmidt, right? Yes. You heard me say earlier that I don't agree with that people should have a right to come here indiscriminately right. or illegally. Right. So I'm not approving of, 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 at the, of that. What, I'm, what I disapprove of is children being separated from their, their parents. No. I d disapprove of people being put in concentration camps and cre cre uh, treated you're like animals. You're comical, aren't you? <laughs> it, you're it, comical. I don't see you laughing. Concentration camps, what are you talking about? Detention centers. Well, the, they are being, the, the Congressman the, Ocasio brought the information well, out recently guy, about these people being put Cortez. in de detention centers. And that, that's worse. You, you, you know what? Some white people won't even put a put a, let, let a dog live in a dog house. They right, let it live right, in their right, own right. home you, you before they live it in, yeah, right. let, let it live outside in the backyard <laughs> in the dog house. I'm surprised. So the way they, they, these people are being treated inhumanely, that that that's not making America great again. You gonna respond to that? Or we can move on to the next question. The law is the law. If you come across the border, I just said illegal, earlier that I don't agree with any laws being broken. What I disagree with is these people being treated inhumanely. They're not being they treated. Be, they can be. Uh, uh, they can be. There are laws that can be based passed, on and what? they can uh, stop the uh, uh, the mad rush into America Ill illegally. But they can do it humanely, sir. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, build a wall. Build a wall or whatever you have to do, but but the way they are doing it right now, this is a disgrace to what you all claim the Constitution stands for. I think you're wrong. You're 100 percent wrong. Mm. Okay, you're entitled to think that. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go. This is heated. You know something I like to ask you. Okay. Do you think that black people are entitled? To reparations. No. Cause, now wait a minute. Was it okay? Is it okay? Was it okay to get a Jew something annually? Is that okay? We didn't give reparations to Jews. What are you talking about? They get money. Jews get billions of dollars every Angular. year from yeah, America. Yeah, right. okay. America yeah. is being pimped by the Israelis, right, right. and your president Donald okay. Donald uh, okay. uh, J. Trump okay. or whatever okay. his name is doesn't, doesn't utter a damn word against it. Okay. <laughs> Do you? Do you think that blacks deserve? Let's talk. You want to talk about slavery? No, I'm going to ask you. Do you about want to talk about slavery? Go ahead. You can say okay, that. Okay, because I made sure, I made sure I, I, I did my research before I came out so, here. Okay. Going back 3000 BC, mm -hmm. in the Bible, they talked about slavery. Mm -hmm. Slavery has been around for the entire history of mankind. In ancient Rome, Rome had a population of one million, they believe, the city of Rome. Do you think that blacks presently deserve reparations? No, not at all. Why not? Why would you say that? Now because the Japanese... United States of America was only involved with slavery for a minute amount of time. Mm -hmm. United States became a country 
In America what year? was what year involved did the United in States slavery for 400, for, for over 200 years, uh, America has been involved United in slavery. The United States of America? I mean, the United been, how long has been, America's been in existence? Since 1788. And how many years is that? 1788, and then they banished bringing in slaves. At how many years has America been in existence? America has been involved in slavery ever since its inception. George Washington once sold a slave for a keg of molasses. Your, your well, founding but, father. Yeah, that's, that was Thomas the, Jefferson that, raped that a, was the norm. Thomas Jefferson that was the norm. Year, was that good? A 13 year old, excuse me. Okay. Thomas Jefferson raped a 13 year old black girl. That was the norm. <laughs> Unbelievable. So what are you going back to? Unbelievable. Well, how about the Muslims? They're still practicing slavery. <laughs> The, the, no intelligent Muslim justifies slavery. The whole line in 90 verse 16 says for Muslims to free slaves. So when you talk but, about the, these pagan the Arabs, you're why, talking when you talk the about the pagan the, Arabs, you're still, talking about a people that's violating the teachings of the Holy Quran. All right, but but it's in the Muslim land. There's still it's, slavery it's, today. It's, it's, it's in the Bible. The Bible in the book of the New Testament uh, sanctions slavery. But the Holy Quran says whether, no matter what the Arabs does, the Holy Quran and Prophet Muhammad spoke against slavery. There's a difference there. Yeah, we're talking about, you're, you guys are looking at minute you, 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 points You know of, what, it's, real, it's amazing that you, you, you haven't uttered one word against the Japanese receiving reparations for the atomic bomb being dropped on them. You didn't say anything about the Jews. For the atomic uh, not, you, you, you're not what against, are you talking you're not about? against the Jews for receiving reparation. I mean the, the Indians for receiving reparation, which they do today, for being for the, having their land snatched away from them. But all the, the, the conservatives and the Republicans and this madman in the White House, Mitch McConnell, is against black people uh, getting, getting, getting uh, sla uh, slave reparation, uh, regardless of all the injustices that have been the perpetrated United against States us States in this country. Slavery, slavery, Jim Crow, lynching. Lynching over 4,000 people in this country, black people have been lynched by black Americans. Can I ask you something? And you're going to sit up here and say we don't deserve any reparations. No, not a problem. There were black farmers that had their land snatched away from them. Mm -hmm. And they were forced to flee to the, the north for their safety and had their land stolen. And you want to say that we're not deserving of reparations. Not a penny. <laughs> so, Brother Salim, so Brother Salim, um, I mean, you res you responded. You saying that blacks are not entitled to anything, but it is okay to give Indians an annual check for what happened to their people. No, is that there okay? are no annual checks. You know how rich the, the Indi Indians. You know how Indians wealthy. You know how wealthy the American Indian is. How many Indians are in this country? I don't know, but I'm saying that they're less than Indians four. Clifton. They're Clifton. less than yeah. four percent of the something? population. Yeah. I, let me read you something real quick. Okay. I wrote a, offered a publication here some years ago called "Slavery Reparations and White Supremacy." <laughs> let me read to you some of the. Okay. Read our audience. It's only a 27 minutes. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Let me read to some of the things that happened to to our, our our ancestors during the Jim Crow and during the slavery. On the sugar plantations of the islands, runaway blacks if caught would be tied down to the ground and smeared with molasses. Soon, vicious biting ants will swarm them and strip all the flesh off their body. Mm -hmm. These are some of the tortures mm -hmm. that the Caucasian slave master put on black people. Some slave masters, if angered by slave, would put gunpowder in the anuses of blacks, set it on fire, and cause it to explode. Frederick Douglass said the slaves were kept so ignorant that they weren't even allowed to know their names or their ages. Mm -hmm. What else happened? Uh, most blacks did not sleep on, were not allowed to sleep on beds in these little slave cabins. They had to sleep on the dirt, ground, dirt, uh, cold ground, even in the winter time, and were not given in any uh, uh, covers or many of them didn't even have adequate clothes. Let me read just, just okay. a couple more things. Just a couple more things All and right. I'm gonna turn it back over to you. The slave master split up African tribal families and, and, and caused language barriers which prevented methods of escape. Uh, what else? Our ancestors were forced to work 14 and 15 hours a day at a minimum. They had to get up before sunrise, whether they were blind, crippled, insane, old, young, 
male or female or pregnant. Frederick Douglass said that the white man literally treated horse, horses and dogs better than his slaves. You want to respond to that and I got a question. Uh, well, I think the Republicans were abolitionists from the beginning. I'm a Republican. Well, blacks used to be wrong. I'm not a Democrat. A you're, you're a Republican and you're going against what Abraham Lincoln stood for. What are you talking about? You're going, when you say that blacks are not deserving of reparation, you're going against what Abraham Lincoln stood for because even Abraham Lincoln and his vice president said that black people were deserving of 40 acres and a mule. 40 I don't acres want 40 and acres and a mule. I want 40 acres and a tractor trailer. <laughs> was Lincoln right for saying that? Well, the land was there. I mean, America was settled by giving people land. So Lincoln was 100% correct. I, I totally believe in What you slaves. just said that you don't think the blacks are entitled to anything. Well, you're gonna how black are you? <laughs> Can you prove to me? Do you have slave roots? Wait a minute, man. Can you, do you have slave roots? According to, virtually my, according to every, my grandmother, virtually, yeah. Virtually, let me, let yeah. me answer this. Good. Let me answer that. Prove it. Virtually every black person here in America, in the Western Hemisphere, is here mainly because of what Caucasians did when they invaded uh, Africa. You know, I'm posing a question. Was it good to get rid of Obamacare to both of y'all? And they put, he put absolutely nothing in, re in place let me, let of me, Obamacare. Let me, let me say something about that, man. Uh, and first of all, I have to let everybody know I'm I'm not uh, I'm not a, a Obama Obama uh, uh, what what they call it groupie. No, Libya, okay? man. <laughs> I believe that Obama did a lot of things that were detrimental to the black community, yeah. and I also believe that Obamacare, in some ways, hurt a lot of black people. Mm. There were many black people that couldn't afford Obamacare. Mm. Do you all, you understand that? I understand. Um, um, I believe that Obama served the interests of uh, the gay community.